Interview with Nick Hernandez. Life's too short to be doing something you don't love. I've always been an artist, but my first career was designing for men's fashion for 15 years. There was something that wasn't clicking for me and it wasn't rewarding for the amount of work that I was putting in. Transitioning out of fashion into a full-time career into fine arts was the best decision I've ever made. Where are you from? I was born and raised in California and I currently reside in Sacramento, California. What is your profession? I am a full-time abstract texture artist. I have my own studio in my backyard, so it's very convenient for me to create when my creative juices are flowing. What is your favorite piece that you have created? This is always the hardest question because I like to think that my latest piece is always my favorite piece. Black tides and erosion are at the top of my favorites. I get lost when I look into black tides. There's something mysterious about the all matte black and gloss together that lets you look deeper into the piece. Erosion is another great piece and also my first round composition that I've created in 2022. It demonstrates land, water, and erosion in between and inspired by the coastlines around the world. What are your goals? 1. To get my work out into the world and have it be seen. 2022 was a huge year for me, since I was represented by a major gallery in San Francisco showcasing my latest collection Midnight Sun inspired by the summer months in Iceland. 2. 2023. I'm going to have my art in Art Basel in Miami and have my work seen on a larger scale. 3. Take risks this year. Not only with my art and techniques, but with new opportunities that arise. What is your inspiration? I'm really inspired by nature, especially the landscapes and terrain in Iceland. I like to take everyday ordinary things, like a close-up of a sandstone and recreate that into a beautiful abstract texture piece of art. What is the best advice you have been given? If you compare yourself to others, you will never live up to your full potential. I think about this often and it's what keeps me focused and creative throughout the day. If I compared myself to others all day, I wouldn't get anywhere in life. I would be worrying about fitting in or being accepted. Once I began to start creating what I wanted to create, that's when everything great began to happen in my life. If you could change anything about the industry, what would it be? We need more artist-run galleries and venues supporting other artists. Too many of these huge art galleries are money-hungry and really don't care about the artist. How does a day in your life look like? 1. Usually wake up around 7.30 a and scroll through my phone for an hour responding to emails and inquires about my art. 2. Get my matcha green tea ready and then walk into the studio to assess what I need to work on for the day. 3. Turn on my music, which is usually jazz in the morning and then escalates to dance later into the day 4. If I have orders to ship out, I'll pack and ship those and get them out. 5. Set up my cameras and start recording everything I create in the studio. I would rather record everything than not have anything. 6. Begin painting or creating my own wood frames for commissions or my own collection 7. Edit photos and update my IG or create a reel for IG and TikTok 8. Eat. I usually forget to eat when I'm in the studio because I get in a zone. 9. Wind down around 6 p.m. and chill and watch a show. What is next for you? 1. Huge projects coming up with Lil Jon the rapper and his new show on HGTV. Can't say more than that right now. 2. Art Basel in December 2023-3. Creating a new collection inspired by AI that I be titled Glitch. Stay tuned for that collection.